Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Um, this will be a very quick tutorial, well, relatively quick tutorial, on just accessing the new iTunes U course that I have set up. Um, okay, so the very first thing you need to make sure that on your iOS device, so primarily primarily it should be hopefully your iPad it's probably the most effective um, the iPad or possibly your iPhone or iPod um, apologies to those people who are using Android sorry don't have uh, access to that just yet um, I will have access via your PC via iTunes shortly um, hopefully that will happen in the next two weeks but to be honest guys if you have an iPad this is much better for the iPad than any other device um, but certainly uh, iPhone will be uh, will be useful as well so first things first we want to go into our app store and get our iTunes U app you probably should be able to do that pretty simply it is free just download it um, and then once you've got there that's fine I will have sent you an email something that reads something to do with that on the right hand side you can see there uh, about accessing the iTunes U. Um, so once you have that app on your iPad or your iPhone, if you open your email on that particular device and then click that link, it will open this up directly on that device. Now you need to uh, fill out your request enrollment, which you basically just click the button request enrollment um, and that will automatically send me an email asking for that to enrollment request. I will simply say yes, okay, and then you will have access to that. Um, once I have pressed yes, okay, sorry, cancel. Once I have pressed uh, yes, what you'll get is in your library, you'll have a little book that says either 7, 10, 11, or 12, depending on which class that you are in. On the left-hand side, it will also have a few things about any recent posts that I've put placed on there or any recent assignments that I've put on there for you. Um, obviously, you won't have all these four books. You'll have one of them. For this uh, episode, I will probably mostly go through the 12, thing as you will probably be the first uh, class to use this. Once I have uh, accepted you and you've got the little book, if you press uh, open, you would generally for the first time come onto this first page, which is the info tab in the right hand corner, right hand side. It says info. Gives you a quick overview of what the course is, uh, a little bit about myself, which you don't need to know, but they've got the outline. The outline is very important. This is a good uh, indicator of what you'll be doing throughout this year. Now, for year 12, um, I've started with realistically or well, number one everyone will have you'll have the scope and sequence and the assessment notifications but for year 12 i started with number four because that's where we're up to at the moment okay we've started our integration and that's the first unit that we'll be continuing on with beginning of this year um, but certainly what this uh this outline will give you is what we're looking at for this year in terms of uh you know our week to week uh lesson plans I guess and if you look in the right hand corner or right hand side should I say under the info tabs you'll see the post tabs which will actually have those lessons for you when you uh, click post for the first time you'll notice that on the left hand side that's the subheadings that we just had on the outline so for this for year 12 it was the overview series and sequences applications integration etc if you click overview, it will have uh, the scope and sequence and any assessment notifications that I've placed on there for you. All you need to do is simply click it and it will pop up for you. And then once you've downloaded it once, it will be there for good. Okay, which would be great. You can access that uh, when you're not on the internet. Um, for integration, because that's the lesson plan I've put on there, again, you can see I've got Trapper's Little Rule, Simpsons Rule, Indefinite, Indefinite. Going back to the info tab of the outline, they were the headings there for the integration section. So they've been set up there very nicely for you um, at, for each lesson. So the lesson one is trap rule, Simpsons rule, etc. Um, if you click on, for example, Simpsons rule, it will have a few things uh, such as please watch this video on Simpsons rule, remember to make notes, and then attempt some of the finishing questions. Um, if you click the web, web link, now you do have to have access to the internet but it will simply open up in your YouTube, the actual lesson, and it's all sorted, okay? Very straightforward. Um, I will, if you want me to, uh, I can get you to actually download the actual video. Only problem is that will fill up your iPod or iPad with quite a lot of, uh, of videos, which you might not want to do. So at the moment, 
as long as you've got internet access, I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. But if you want me to actually um, allow you to download it so it's on your actual iPad, let me know and I'll, I can certainly do that. Um, I'll also post on here little like photographs and clips that you can use. For example, that's the rule. Um, there might be notes, there might be actual questions or exercises that I might put on there for you. I think uh, at the end of this unit, I think I'd also put a mind map, okay, which you can actually print off if you wish to uh, do that. So um, you have it there, or whatever you want to do with it, it, it is on your, um, your thing. You can take snapshots or whatever. Just gives me uh, one place to put lots of information. This can be useful for you because if you want to get ahead of the lesson before we go into the class, you can use this to go through it. If you're away for a day, you can go through the lesson. All the information is there. Um, I'll even put on there for most of the time what exercises I want you to be doing from that particular lesson. So it's quite a good little spot there to, to be using throughout your lessons. Um, just show you the year 10 one that I've put on here. Sometimes, I think for year 10, year 7s, you might have this little uh, left-hand corner. Instead of having the list of the overview stuff, um, you'll have little calendars. If you just click on that, next to the, uh, the library button, it has a little calendar button. If I click, you can see it's just highlighting now. That will bring up the, uh, the sections there. So, for example, you know, I've still got the outline there as you saw everyone else did there for the year 12 uh, if I click the post for trigonometry okay we've got the trig review bearings exact values all the lessons there that we had before um, so if I click on the trig review you know I've got a little bit of information about the lesson that we're looking for that first lesson there if I click trig review I haven't actually put a lesson on there yet but there will be a lesson there I've got a history trig, which again is a web link to uh, a bit of history about the trigonometry. Um, I've got a mind map again there that you can uh, use. Um, you can take snapshots, you can copy it, what, do whatever you want to do with it. I've also got, and I'll try to do this for each class, um, I've actually got the exercises on here as well, okay, from the book, um, which can be quite useful if you're using the iPad or iPhone. Um, so again, look, it's just a different way to present a lesson. Um, I'll be using this primarily for year seven and year 12, but certainly access is available to year 10 and year 11 students as well. Um, it's not a bad place to have. Um, look, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try and see how, how it pans out. But again, if you have an iPad, I think it will work better than any other um, sort of device. Um, you know, as I said, I will try to get iTunes activated fairly shortly. Um, it is a bit more complicated on iTunes, but at least you can download the videos um, on your computer if you wish to have them. Um, but certainly it will have just keep all the videos that I've been putting up onto YouTube or mathspays.com into one little spot. Um, it can be just a little, nice little uh, place you can go for revision or certainly if you're away for a day um, or for year 10, you know, if we're uh, doing a few lessons at home, um, certainly a little bit easier for you as well. So look, I hope this was a bit, um, you know, it wasn't that complicated for you, but just remember the, the main steps I want you to do, okay, download the iTunes U app, which you can see at the bottom left hand corner, go to your email and activate the link, enroll in that course as you saw before. Once you've enrolled, then you can access the classes, play around with it and let me know what you think. Okay, cheers guys, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.